Stay back. A tunnel boy. Got it. Be careful. More tests. Dwarves must have carved these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Well, it's good for me anyway. Oh, come on! That is not helping. See you on the other side. be as long a way up as we thought. Terribly fun way to live, though. Should worry more. Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. How much farther do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready.
Father, after we scatter Mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your trading. Okay. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Calm yourself, boy, but stay behind me. Yes, sir! fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Hey, Oakley! Over here! You okay?
need to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. Nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me. And that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. <laughs> now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, I see. Figured it out on your own, then. Just... never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined. Disciplined. Not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure. I know. It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. 
Shattering things with this. broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. 
You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The t tattooed man tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget it. We're everywhere. We really are. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, well, we took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. Promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. 
There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this. to the witch's house. Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. You seem nice. Before you cut off his head. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder! And you fought him! And won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about- My the... kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I. Where you came from. A mother, a father? No, that was not the time for that. Yes, sir. <gasps> Rock! 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 What? I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No breath. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Tanker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Mm. He eaten well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Was remember, good luck getting him to cook his own. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that's me, mister? Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor.
What else were you going to tell me about war? Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Serpent room. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring your head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. This will lead out. Turn back AC. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. 
He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Malik. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We could not trust her. Because she's a god? Everybody taught you nothing, boy. But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's Temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The world serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. God who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mimir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. I knew it! We are blowing the horn. No. We are testing your resolve. I have resolve. A bunch of it. Why is he doing 
had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Members me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Moku no huntunku. Pain of your loss. He will help you. Ethnium for poor. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while well on foot. Taken from Our focus is the road. Early. Completely understand. You who walks among the living. You want us to collect your book? Gulvig Sathermat. Really? Boy. I can smell you. Boy. We're. Ah. 
They've taken three of Sweet Gulvik's bones and... Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Gulvik will reward Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> There was a giant once named Thamua. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamua hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Rimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, and the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Rimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Vamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Very giant chisel. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. What happened to the survivors? Oh, oh. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. There he is. 
place. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles. Are we doing this? How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Wow, that was uh, something at that fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <gasps> you let him touch this again. <sighs> Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. What can I... Was there something else? So... This plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? <laughs> Boy, Carmel oh. really like you, didn't he? He braided his beard with him. I happen to think he looks dashing. Oh. You know, oh. a snow covered corpse. Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line. Oh. Careful! My shop's right here! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood.
Another crystal. Just give the word. Huh. What now? Got most of it. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Going up, and what we need is all the way down there. Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Bird. going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. This plan seems to look Quiet. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. Oh no! The floor's collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. Boy. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that... Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Write it. Bar. House. Vet. To Sumar. No, -uh. that wasn't right. <laughs> Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the 
platform. Keep riding. Thor. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. to writing before the floor collapses. Having a little fun, you big grump. Oh, well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir.
down. We jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. I guess he's a terrible father They too. are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? I'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really lavened up the place. You just can't help but break things, can you? Ah! If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
it well. Something ahead. See, Lodge? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. What can I do? Fine. Always happy just to chat. I mean it! I walked away. Maybe. Uncle has to stay straight in years. As long as far as Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? No <laughs> <laughs> one's yours, brother. Don't tell me! No! <laughs> I can't remember the last time we faced a mutual challenge. You call this a challenge? An old man is still born. Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Oh no, don't care. Come here, Hathaway. You're done. Shut! No! Don't call me! Yeah! Can't believe you've lasted this long. No skinny little dogs can barely I said shut up! Calm yourself. Looks like they need another lesson. You're more than happy to teach, brother. <laughs> Don't listen to him, lad. He's trying to rile you up. It is My sons of Thor are welcome to try. Head! Sorry, overstepped, yeah? Yeah! We're coming for you. I again ask. Boy, stay focused. Did you? Are you 
You have no idea. You son of a bitch! No, no. Sickness. Fever has returned. No. It hasn't. Roy. The coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve a travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. You... Killed Mag. That he did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. No, not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Wait, we were here before. Oh. The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? What's Draugr get you? Have you made